Alright, what's up guys? It's Max here with Bamboozle Boys. In this episode 3 of the $600 Miata, I'm going to be painting this soft top black with some dupe color vinyl and fabric paint. But before I do that, I have to uh, patch up these holes here. And it's on the other side too. And I also cleaned this with some simple green. So I cleaned it up so the paint would stick a bit better to the roof. I also got this gray wheel paint to paint these wheels because they look pretty crusty and stuff. Let's get to it. Looks pretty terrible, but once I paint it all black, it should look a bit better. It shouldn't be as noticeable. It was really hard to get into the cracks because it's like so tight. Here's the other side too. This one was a lot bigger and like driving 60, there's so much wind noise. It's like the window is open. I think this would be the source. Hopefully my ride quality will improve and it'll be like a Cadillac. We're starting to mask uh, this off to get ready to paint. Yeah. So old. Look how much dust there is coming off. Alright, it's finally all messed off. About to start painting now. Did the 240 vert. Oh, yeah. Max, look at Max, would you rather have a convertible 240 or this car? This car. Okay. We're about to start. Here goes Max. Bad paint technique. Like, yeah. I don't paint a lot. I'm gonna paint my hand a bit. This spray's pretty thick. Now that looks good already, dude. You're a little close, I'd say, personally, but... Just dust it all right now. This little spray's nice, dude. Let's see why it's like eight bucks a can. <laughs> Don't go over again, just let it dry. The top is black now. Best seven dollar Miata one. This is the best seven dollar Miata one. Look at this thing. Looks like a million. Looks like a million bucks, Max. Thanks. Now this thing's gonna look a lot better sideways. The next trip event. <laughs> All right, we're now about one can. Oh, that edge, that edge good. Now we're peeling it off. That's literally one can. Man, we put like so many coats. Yeah. A bug on your phone. Alright, I hope Dino out is pulling this yeah, now. Look at that, dude. Can't even see tan anymore. Maybe a little bit on the inside there, but. Don't look at that. Like, if you have a glass roof, it'll be easier. Oh, yeah. But that's still not that bad. If you have a glass roof, you can just like, unzip the window. Oh, yeah. So we got most of the stuff off. We had to go in a bit and respray some stuff on the inside because like this masking tape was pretty bad, didn't stick on the inside. Yeah, so it I, was pretty easy though. We just like pushed yeah. it down and just like sprayed it really close. This stuff like, it's honestly really hard to mess up. Yeah, like, there was there, like a there run. There was a huge run there. You can't even see it anymore. Yeah. But this stuff's pretty great. Recommend it. It's very nice. Here you go. Oh yeah. That's what it is by the way. Yep. So here's the, uh, Final product, it's just about done drying. But I'm not gonna put the top down until a few days to make sure it like really sets in. And I'll let it dry. Yeah, it's not fully dry right now, but it's pretty much dry. Looks so good now. I love one it. Can, dude. Yeah, so one can. This is a gloss black of the dupe color. There's also a flat black, but I don't know how the flat back flat black looks, but it seems look seems to look pretty good. We'll say OEM. So now that my car's inside, I'm going to show you some of its quirks and features, I guess. So you might see here in the lighting, actually. The door paint, it's like, I think, original type, but the front, it's a metallic. Sparkly. And it's like, the fender's like that, the uh, hood is like that, and the bumper is like, and that. The lights, bumper. Yeah. It's been repainted. And, but this looks repainted, too, because like someone just did a really poor masking job. 
focus. Yeah. And it goes, it's poor masking everywhere. Uh, all the way back here. And even, there's some overspray inside of there. It's pretty weird. It's worth and rolled ten times. <laughs> I'm supported. So, uh, look at that. That was bent in. So it was in a front end crash somehow, or something. And you can see that's there's a bit of a gap here. It closes in the middle and goes back out. And underneath this plastic lid cover, it's like purple. But that one's like all original blue, just like the car. And I don't know if I could, yeah, like there's a spot. I think this hood might have been red before, unless Mazda uses like red primer, which I don't know if they do. That'd be so weird. So a replaced hood also. Which is all right. I don't know. It's a clean I mean, title. Did a good job replacing everything. The frame rails are straight, yeah. so that's all that matters. It, it drives straight, and it's clean title, so who cares, honestly? So I have some NGK spark plugs to replace because maintenance is always good. And I did make it to the autocross event, as you might remember from episode two, the day after it was the autocross event. And like about ev after every run, I started to notice that the temperatures like creeped a little bit to the right and it's like stock it's at 11 like idle and it was a pretty hot day so we might do the parallel fan wiring because only that fan is for temperature that's just AC and cars without AC don't have that fan at all I also have a cooler temperature thermostat to put in later a good safety measure that's a lot of oil there your valve cover gas is bad yeah that's true yeah, that's not good that's covered in oil Like a little puddle in there. So only that first one was really oily. The others were pretty dry. It's covered in oil, dude. I got a new valve cover gasket on the way. So we got these spark plugs, boogies, and booyahs. Booyah! It had the exact same spark plug inside of it. Yep. NGKR. That one's blue, though. Uh, I guess it's older. Something. That one's green. I don't know what that is. It's good to know this has been maintained and stuff with good parts. Good. Just... Well, NGK? NGK uh, made, wires too. In Japan, dude. Yeah. Work harder, you know. All the new NGK uh, spark plugs are in. We're popping on the NGK coils now. Sponsor us. Dude. So it seems to be idling better, also. It's like smoother. The idle did fluctuate sometimes, but it seems pretty rock solid right now. Rock solid is like my abs. <laughs> so I'm gonna scuff the surface now. And prepare it enough to clean it. Get rid of all the dust. I do want some different wheels in the future, of course. But this is like $7 and it'll look supreme. Uh, masking off the uh, tire with index cards. And you can see the paint's ahead. pretty bad, so I want to paint them. I want to paint over this. <laughs> the wheel weight. Alright, that's it. Alright, we're rolling. Rock and roll, boys. Max has never painted a wheel, by the way, before. Alright, Yep. Don't paint upside down. Paint that center better. The center sucks. There you go. Alright, Dino's doing this wheel now. So we uh, put the last layer on, I think. It looks much better. Here's an image of the uh, old, how it looked before. And, yep. Yeah. Yep, this is like the best $15 mod to a Miata the top in the wheels. Yeah, it's not bad. It makes a $600 Miata look like a uh, $700 Miata. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, time to spray the last two wheels. Shake it up a bit. I won't record much because it's hard to do it with one person right now. Oh man, that looks really good. I'm pretty impressed. It's like a $7 can from AutoZone also. Or it was $8 I think actually. 
All right, put about the third layer there. These are almost dry and waiting for that other coat to dry and we can put on the final coat and it will be golden or should we say silver. Ha, I like it. Putting on the wheels that we did first and it looks pretty good. Really clean. That looks really clean now. Oh yes. This thing is starting to look more and more, more less like a $600 Miata by the day. Looks like a thousand, uh, two thousand. Two thousand? Two oh. hundred thousand dollar Miata. Yeah, it looks like fresh off the line. Let's paint this next to that. Oh yes. Just uh, pull it right off. No sandpaper required. That was kind of tough there, but just pull it off. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's how the top looks after one day. You kind of see where you put it on thick, but... It's better than tan. It's... Yeah. It's still good. It looks really good to me. Max, what do you think? Could have been a bit better, but... It's, it's good for $7. Better than a $200 top. Yeah. I figured while the, the side's on jack stands, I'm going to spray these frame rails, which have a bit of bare metal on them, with some quick primer thing, primer and paint. Yep. There's some paint on this one too, so which one is It's really rusty and gross. I guess you had the best variety of games. Let that dry, should be good. First you coat of black. Gotta do the other one too. So here's how it looks now. It looks pretty good. Back paint is still pretty spotchy where the clear coat faded. That's alright. I should also add that I cleaned the inside finally. Even though it got a little dirty again. I think I'll cut some footage of when I remove the seat and all the dirt. Gotta clean it again now. <laughs> so I'm driving right now. I'm gonna do a quick little pull to show you guys insane speed. My shifter kind of grinds a bit, which is kind of annoying. Might be a little low in transmission fluid or something, but I don't know. So I'm parked now, and like I said, when I'm going like first to second, and the revs aren't match, it'll like click or grind basically. Same second to third if it's not that rev matched. And third to fourth if I'm going like really hard, it'll also grind a bit. Also I, I realigned the power plant frame, which apparently it's a thing. And I think it might have helped a bit with engine noise, because like when I deaccelerate, it's quite vibrating on the whole car. But it could be because I have a bad engine mount, because also there's other things that rattling, like just idling. I kind of fixed some of it, like one of the hood pins was loose. Also my windshield wipers won't work, and the blower motor won't work, unless I like dangle the key inside the hole a certain way, then it'll all come on for some reason. So I guess it's like dirty or something, or bad connections. I'll try to clean that probably. This clutch pedal is very slippery. Kind of put some skateboard grip tape or something. So here's how a regular black soft top looks on a Miata. And here's mine. It's hard to tell the difference, honestly. I can see it's like a little glossier maybe or darker in some spots because I painted kind of bad. So it's been like a week already I think and I'm gonna try and take the top down and see how the paint handles.
Yeah, you can still see some tan on the insides because I didn't paint there. Let's put it back up now. That's that. All the paint's good, especially where it flexed. Here, this patch is still good. It's all good. So the paint holds up well. So I think that'll conclude this episode. I think on future episodes, I might try and remove this. These pinstripes, they're like really crusty though, but yeah, it's kind of peeling off. We'll see. I have some paint, like OEM spec paint, that I might repaint that. Maybe the front too, because it's like non metallic, but who knows. This paint seems to be holding up well though. I still need to fix this window, it keeps rolling down, but it stays up when it rains at least. I want to get some coilovers and wheels, and it'll be golden. Oh, yeah, there's a sticker out finally, a bit of residue left. So thanks for watching, thank you for liking this video and subscribing, see you next time.